If you've been following my channel for a while, then you probably know that I've created multiple Canva tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to share yet another tutorial on Canva, but this time it's a little different. What I'm gonna do is share eight things you probably didn't know that Canva can do. My name's Aurelius and on this channel, I share my tips, tool reviews and tutorials to help you build your business with online tech. So if that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button below, turn on notifications too, so you don't miss a thing. Now let's get started with the first hidden Canva feature that you probably didn't know you could do. In Canva, this is a presentation that I've used and applied using one of their templates, but if you go to the top right corner, the three dotted lines, there's actually a feature to present and record at the same time. So if we click on present and record, you can record yourself while talking over a presentation. So let's go to recording studio. Now, first you have to set up your camera. So this is me right here with my Logitech C922 Pro webcam and I'm using the built-in microphone here. And let's start recording. Three, two, one. And we are now recording the presentation. So social media strategy. Let's move on to the next few presentation slides here. So you can see the bubble here and whatever else. Once you've finished presenting, you can click on end recording. Now it's uploading your recording to Canva's server. Once it's recorded, you're given this link that you can then copy and share amongst your team members or users or subscribers and customers. I've opened that up in a new tab and let's play it. There we go. So did you know Canva can do this? Comment below whether you did or didn't. Next up, there's another integration in Canva called Simple Booklet. Simple Booklet will turn any of your designs or ebook that you've created on Canva to a flipping book. This is an example of a flipping book that I created using Simple Booklet with Canva. It provides you this share link so then if you do have customers or subscribers that want to read your ebook or whatever you want to present, you can present them with this and it makes it very interactive. You can see the left right arrows. I have other options too in terms of the page transition. So you want it to fade to white, fade to transparent. So at the moment, default is card flip. You can show pages displayed, uh, double pages. So let's test out double and select the page transition. So let's say this one here. And now when I flip, you can see double pages. To create your own flipping book, all you need to do at the top once you've finished your design or ebook, look on the top right corner, I've got the three dotted lines again, and we're going to select under share, see all, and you want to select simple booklet. And then what you're going to do next is connect it and then connect it with your simple booklet account. Sign up is free. The only restriction is you can only create one booklet on their free plan. Once you've connected it up, click on save, and then that'll then be stored into your simple booklet account, which you can then edit the flipping book. Next up, have you ever wanted to create a 3D realistic looking mock-up of your ebook? Well, with Canva, you can actually do it with another integration. It's called Smart Mockup. So let's say you're done with your cover design. You click on the three dotted lines again. Then at the bottom, what we're going to do is look for Smart Mockups. So Smart Mockups is under Share. If we click on Smart Mockups, select the page that you want. Page one is my cover, so that's what I'm gonna do. Click on save. And now it's saved. I wanna to go to view in Smart Mockups. Now, obviously you do need a Smart Mockups account, which is free, but you're only given a limited amount of designs. With Smart Mockups, it's not limited to ebook covers or mockups only. As you can see, there are iPhone mockups, laptops, you've got uh, mugs and cups and all sorts of things. But let's choose books. And now we can see the range of covers to choose from. Let's take a look at one of these. So let's choose that one there. We can change the background to whatever color we want or leave it transparent. And once we're done, we can click on download, choose our quality. Once downloaded, we can then present this on our website. If you're getting value from this video, be sure to hit that like button. And now let's continue. Did you know on Canva, you can actually create interactive websites with clickable links? Well, let me show you how. I'm gonna use this example again. Clicking on the top right corner again, what we're going to choose now is website. From here, we can actually choose a web style from presentation to scrolling, classic navigation, or a standard single page site with navigation links. Let's choose classic navigation and let me show you what it does. Click on open website. Now, as you can see at the top, we've got our title of the actual design and all these links that are in the navigation. So these all represent the different pages of my ebook. 
Of course, this example here is just for my ebook, so it doesn't look that great, but you can design a website and then present it in a way that you want. So let's say tutorial here, and that'll skip down to that page. And all you need to share your website is to copy and paste the link in the address bar like so. Now a little change of pace here. What you can do on Canva as well is to create a graph. There's actually a graph maker. If you go to canva.com forward slash graphs, this is where you'll end up. I'm going to give this graph a name. I'll call this demo. Click on create my graph now. And all you need to do is just follow these steps. Do you need help choosing the right graph type for your project? I know what graph I need or help me choose a graph type. I'll click on I know what graph I need. Now here are all the graphs that they provide you. We've got bar graphs, bubble maps or mind maps, decision trees, organizational charts. So let me choose, let's say the line graph right here or even a pie chart. Choose a pie chart template. So I'm going to select this one right here. Now it's gonna open up a new canvas and this is where I can now uh, edit the contents of this template. And what you can do after is actually double click on the chart and edit the values based on whatever you want to present. Next up, have you ever wanted to learn what fonts go together or combine well? Well, Canva's actually got a tool as well called uh, Font Combination. So canva.com forward slash font dash combinations. I'll link up all these resources and links uh, in the description below anyway. What you do first is select a starter font. So let's scroll down and choose a font. We can see some of the most popular fonts right here. I'm going to choose something like Oswald. And now it's gonna show me a list of uh, combinations that I can go with. So have got uh, the title, which is Oswald. And then they're saying that it goes well with Garamond Premiere Pro. And uh, that's that. Let's choose another font for this uh, demo here. We've got uh, BBAS. See what comes up here. So we've got uh, BBAS for the heading and uh, Source Sans for the body of, uh, you know, the text, body text. If we keep going, we can see some more examples. So with the font combinations tool, some will have multiple examples. Some won't, some will just have a single combination. Uh, but with this one, the, because I think it's a popular font, there are many other combinations that they're providing here. So you can see a different type of uh, combination here, which will go well for, let's say your blog. Here's another example and another. And finally, another one here. So there you go. Check out Canva's font combinations if you're struggling to come up with uh, font combinations. The next Canva feature I want to show you is its color palette generator. So what you can do is upload an image and then it'll detect some of the colors and then give you this palette. So then you can now use it in terms of your branding, your logo, your website, or any other kind of marketing collateral. So let's say you find an image that you like online. Uh, I'm going to take this image here that I've got and upload the image to Canva's color palette generator. So it's right here. I'm just going to click on open. And now it's detected the colors of the image, which I can now use for my branding on my website. Things like accent buttons, the font colors, the background colors. It's even given me names of each. So cloud, cabbage, pont, coffee, Roman coffee, as well as the specific hex code for each. If you don't have an image uh, for inspiration, you can also choose one of the other ones that have already been generated. If I scroll down, you can actually see this area where it says, uh, use this color palette to create beautiful th designs and documents. And this is what it's come up with based on this image. All right, the next feature that you probably didn't know Canva can do is actually print t-shirts. Here's a logo that I quickly created. If we go to the top right corner again, we are going to look under print print t-shirts. So click on that and we're going to click on resize design. They provide some tips here for you to follow. Click on start designing. And what I'm going to do first is select the color of my t-shirt. So let's say white because the black logo stands out better on that and selecting everything. And as I adjust it, you'll see that it also adjusts it on the actual t-shirt in real time. So I'll put it somewhere around here like that. You can also choose the style, whether it's for women, men, youth, toddler, or infants. So let's say men, this is what it looks like. 
and we can print both sides as well if we wanted to. If you want to edit your t-shirt further, then click on the text, add text or whatever elements that you want to put on. Once you are done with your design and confirmed everything, how many you want and the sizes, we can click on continue. Choose your shipping and your details and click on continue. There is an option to get free delivery if you simply choose the standard option. But do note if you want to print your t-shirts, it's only available if you're from the US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, or the EU. All right, so there you have it. I've got another video showing more of these tips and tricks that you can follow. I'll link it up right here if you're interested. Which one of these tips did you like? Feel free to comment below. And by the way, if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications too, so that you'll be the first to know of any tips, tool reviews, and tutorials that I post up here on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.